All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of Unique Adventures. We are out here doing another campground review for you guys. This weekend, we are out in Auburn, Washington. We are out here at Auburn Wilderness Game Farm Park. And this park is actually really small. This review is gonna go fairly fast. There are only 18 sites here. It's a city park and uh, definitely has some pros, definitely has some cons. So you definitely wanna make sure you stay around for the whole thing. Um, so we show you kinda some of the quirks of this campground. So most of these sites here are gonna be 30, at least 30 35 so you got number 18 here on the left hand side got your picnic bench got your fire ring 17 right next to it got some nice green grass here now number 16 you got a couple of these sites that got these extra little offshoots for you know you can put your bigger rig in and put your tow vehicle next to that 16 is one of those sites Got 15 here. Looking good. 14, a little bit shorter, probably more in that 20 foot range. And even if you had your rig here and it came out a little bit more of a way, you could still park your tow rig sideways. So that is still an option here. But look at all this green. It's uh it's pretty pretty nice little spot nestled back here 13 is another one of these big sites got a little pothole in there but got that extra spot for that tow vehicle and a little bit of extra shade so pretty good we got number 12 that looks fairly deep looks fairly level too so got 11 and we got site number 10 with that double kind of setup there where you can have your long rig and your tow vehicle right next door. And most people aren't gonna be bothering you here in the park. This There is a day use and a um, area over here for that. But you won't have a lot of traffic in and out of here. On the disc golf side, which is on the other side of the park, um, definitely, um, a lot of people out there but that is another cool thing about this campground is it's attached to an 18 hole disc golf course which we did three times this weekend and had a blast each time it's a little bit over two two and a half miles to get through it so another perk of being here now we're going to come up and show you kind of the quirks with this campground so you've got number nine nice livable area out here i think this site here might be the sleeper for the best one just because you got all this livable area to yourself. Now here's where things get interesting. Okay, so you got nine and eight. And when you're out here, you see these double poles. Now usually they have these when you're going opposing, but this is not an opposing campground. So if you had your trailer backed in here you're gonna have to bring everything back under your trailer and hook up onto that side there are a multitude of sites here that you have to do this at one of which is where we are out and we needed extra cable to make it happen almost needed extra water hose to make it happen so you definitely want to watch these sites i'm going to list the sites where you have to pull back under right here so you know this when you're booking just something to keep a, keep in mind. Got yeah, site number seven. Another one of those awesome extra extra uh, car carrying places. Number eight there. It's a pretty good little spot there. Got that nice livable area out there. We are here, or that's six. We are in five. And like I said, we had to drag everything back over. Not the most ideal setup. Yeah, four, nice big livable area out here with that double. This is another really, really good spot. Got three, another big livable area here. 
you got two and two also is another one of those you'd have to come back underneath and one here is a great site my buddy's here in this one this weekend it's uh it, it's a pretty nice site got a big livable area and you got your own power pole double power pole on this side but your your fire rings on the back side so that rounds out all the sites um plus also on this back here do do be advised there is a little bit of road traffic back there there's a private road not private but uh you know a community road back here doesn't get too terribly loud but you definitely have to keep an eye out for that it gets a you know a little bit at times definitely not at night um but that's why we come around and show you guys this thing so a couple of quirks on the you know where you're setting up your your power and your water but it's not bad for what you're getting i think right now it's like 35 bucks a night uh, you do have to call um, the city of Auburn to make reservations here, uh, but it's, it's it's not a little bad little place to do up for a weekend. We also did have um, my buddy in Site 6 did have some issues with the 30 amp breaker there. We're going to be letting them know about that after the weekend. Hopefully they'll get that uh, figured out. The other little thing I didn't mention about is all this recreating area in the middle here, which is kind of a, a cool little feature here because the kids can do laps around here. You can be out here in your campsite and still keep track of everybody. Plus, you got this nice little pavilion. You can come out here, play cornhole, play can to the jam. If you've ever played cam jam before, uh, drop me a comment. It's... Uh, We've we've played it the last couple of times we've been out camping and we we really like it. It gets pretty heated, pretty competitive. So uh, yeah, Auburn Game Farm Park. We got it uh, hooked up here. Let us know if you've been here before. Drop us a comment. Uh, give us that thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, now is the perfect time for you to start coming along on all of our adventures where we do campground reviews, destination. We're going all over the place and we're doing everything. So you definitely want to stay tuned to that. But until then, we'll see you guys in the next adventure.